E and E here. In nearly 27 years of Magic the Gathering, and that's more than a quarter of a century, we had some important milestones for the game. Examples, Arabian Nights was the first expansion set, Elsa's Legacy was the first set to have foil cards, or as at that time were called premium cards, and so on and so on, I can continue for hours. But there is a set, a particular set, which I consider it as a very important milestone in the history of Magic the Gathering. I'm going to talk about Lorwyn. Here's Lorwyn. I'm going to talk about Lorwyn. I consider Lorwyn a very important set, but at the same time a very strange set. But why Lorwyn is considered a very important milestone in the history of Magic the Gathering? There are two particular reasons. First reason, the release date of Lorwyn, October 12th, 2007. During that time, and for those that have experienced this themselves, they know what I'm going to talk about. In 2007, there was one of the worst economic crises in modern times. Stock markets collapsed, companies went bankrupt, jobs were lost, investments and lifetime savings went down the drain. It was an economic disaster worldwide. Yes, it was worldwide because every country was impacted. And because money became so scarce, a lot of people began saving every penny they could, and therefore they spent less money on leisure and hobbies. Wizard of the Coast was aware of what was happening in the world during that time, and therefore to save money they decided to lower the print run of newly released sets. The first one scheduled was Lorwyn. You have to understand that the previous sets before Lorwyn were among the most successful sets ever released in Magic the Gathering. We're talking about Onslaught, Mirrodin, Kamigawa, Ravnica, Time Spiral. All these blocks, all these sets were very well designed and very successful and therefore the print run of these products started to increase as much as new players were joining the game. There's also another important factor to consider. During the Erza's block, which is considered as the first golden age of Magic the Gathering, there was a huge inflow of players joining the game. Let's be honest, Magic the Gathering is a game targeting teenagers and early 20s. And these players in 2007, they grew up, became adults, started to work, have a family, and therefore their responsibilities increased. If we consider these factors and the economic crisis, the result is a negative inflow of Magic the Gathering players. In poor words, more players left the game versus player joining the game. And that's why the print run of Lorwyn is so low. Second reason were Planeswalkers. Before Lorwyn, Planeswalkers were you, the player. And there was no set that had any Planeswalker cards before Lorwyn. Which nowadays sounds as a blasphemy, but it's true, no set had any Planeswalker cards. Lorwyn was the first. It included in the main game an entirely new card type, Planeswalkers. The set had five Planeswalkers, Ajani Goldmane, Liliana Vess, Jace Bellerin, Garuk Whitespeaker and Chandra Nalar. All five Planeswalkers were rare, and there here is the set symbol of Lorwyn in the gold rare. Color. Yes, all cards were rare. The reason was because Lorwyn didn't have any mythic cards. Lorwyn rarity stopped at rare. And that's why Lorwyn Planeswalkers are the only rare Planeswalkers until War of the Spark. Nowadays, because of the low print run of Lorwyn, these boxes are quite expensive. We're talking of a price range between $900 and $1000. And you have to be lucky to find one in mint condition, sealed and in English. So that was some background regarding Lorwyn and why I consider it a very important set in Magic the Gathering history. Leave me a comment below which set do you consider very important in Magic the Gathering and why. And here is the subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible web.